Yes, what is it? Um, I'm calling to say I'm sorry. Too late. There is no word like too late in a relationship, Mark. Listen, Jennifer, you're missing the whole point entirely. And what's the point? Can't you understand? I've had enough of you. Mark, listen. Fine. Maybe I was harsh walking out on you and all that. Well, maybe. Fine, maybe. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay? And that's why I'm calling to say I'm sorry. The week has been hell for me. I've come to realize how much I love you and how useless I can be without you. <laughs> Pity, Jennifer. You see, you walked out on me just exactly when I was trying to throw you out. What? Yes, sure, you did. And you saved me the whole entire exercise. Well, if you don't mind. Hello, loser. The wrong man. You are disturbing my man. My own man. Well, you've had it all for yourself, Jennifer. You take care. experience. An emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? The only man she ever loved and uh, trusted, betrayed and cheated her. What? Yes, Steve. My daughter? Which, which, which man is that? But why, why should she play the fool? Well, you know, kids of these days, they, are, they always have their own agenda. Different from what we had set out for them to become. Traumatized by a man. I mean, a boy. Well, uh, Chief, uh, these things are not unusual. I just advise you take it easy. Take it easy? Uh, well, for her sake and uh, for her recovery. You know, she, she needs all the parental care. Did she tell you she lacked any? Well, she didn't. I'll also advise that um, you make sure she stays away from every male relationship. For now. Oh, you don't have to remind me about that. I know exactly what to do. Mm -mm. You also will not uh, overdo that. You know, she needs all the love she can get to come out of this clean. It's very important. Right. That's it. No problem. No problem, Doctor. Well, as it is now, we should be talking about discharging her tomorrow. Oh, yes. She, she's well enough, but I'll need to, you know, monitor her again for tonight. And then tomorrow she's free to go home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's my pleasure. finished youth service, Mom. Remember? So? At what stage do you believe I should fall in love? At 40? Come on, Jenny, it's not like that. But the way you landed yourself in hospital, is that worth it? Mom, love is the basic need of human nature. 
Without it, life is disrupted physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Don't look at me like that. I'm just quoting a great philosopher called Carl Menninger. Now, love is a form of insanity, which makes a girl fall in love and marry her boss, works for him for the rest of her life without salary. Now, that is another wise man's quote. Mommy, you know Mark. He was my first and only love. How did I know I was going to be heartbroken? I understand the way you feel, my dear. But you see, the process of love is never complete without the undignifying aspect of breakup. I'm learning the hard way. And that is why the doctors say you should stay away from all kinds of relationships with me. Trust me, Mama, I don't need the doctor to tell me that. That's my girl. Now, your father sent me to persuade you to adhere to the doctor's instructions 100%. Hmm? Tell him I'll give 200. I like that. Don't worry, Jenny. Everything is going to be okay. Okay? Despite uh, Jenny's assurances, I want both of you to keep an eye on her. She must be prevented from going out unless there is absolute description of her destination. How will that be possible, Daddy? Well, you have to make it possible. And I am relying on you to do that. Daddy, but Jenny is my elder sister. How can I possibly prevent her from going out? Oh, simple. You call me the moment you suspect her planning to go out. It's no more than that. Okay, Daddy. That's simple enough. Oh, Sandra. Daddy? If I ever hear or see or find out that you are involved in any illegal stepping out, <laughs> You will not like me very much by the time I'm through with you. Is that clear? Yes, Dad. Mm. This whole house has turned into for me. I cannot do anything or make a move without you calling dad. Um, but the doctor said. Forget you. about what the doctor said. Sandra, what do you think? Honestly, Jenny, I don't think you need this bottle up, you see? So, can I go and see Esther, my friend, without you calling dad? But. Uh, the doctor said, forget about what the doctor said. Tell him anything. You can tell him you stepped out for a minute and by the time you go back into the house, you didn't find me. No. You know, Sandra, come on. I'll do the same thing for you. Okay. I'm not preventing you, am I? Thank you, kid sister. Thank you. Uh, so, just as a matter of curiosity, what actually do you want to say to the phone? 
This is the part I say, mind your business, dear. <laughs> In the darkness, secrets of the night. It's a skip the beat of the heart. Oh, it's the fear of losing the one you love. Someone there who makes you happy, makes you smile, makes you laugh. I would have believed that Mark was capable of breaking my heart. So, what actually happened? seen Mark disregard or disrespect me in public. I was so embarrassed. But Jenny, at least you could have waited for an explanation or probably demanded for one. When we were kissing like that in front of me? You know, sometimes old flames do rekindle and, and even sparkle more than the old ones. Yeah, that was what I thought until after a week I did not hear from him and I did not see him. No, you don't understand, Master. For the first time in my life, I actually found out how much I felt for Mark. That whole week was the most agonizing week of my life. I kept waiting for him to call. He never did. I found the courage to call him and I got the shock of my life. Now I'm being monitored in my house. Anything I do or say is reported to my father. I'm under lock and key. Jenny, I'm, I'm really sorry you had to go through it all of this. It really, it's a pity. But seriously, you've got to brace up. Yeah. That's why I had to cajole my way out of the house to be here. Really? Yes. My younger sister watches over me. My younger sister. That's terrible. You know, I understand. Maybe I should make an arrangement for you and Mark. What? That's exactly what you want me to do, isn't it? No. Jenny, listen. When a girl loves a guy as much as you do to Mark, you always have to make up. Not this girl. You're not serious, are you? If I ever set my eyes on Mark, I will drive a knife through his heart. Why are you talking like this? I passed out for the first time in my life. I had to be observed in a hospital. A psychiatrist had to examine me. And you want me to go back to such a devil? 
Never. Cutting into your head. What do you mean? Why are you not picking daddy's calls? It's my phone, and I decide whose calls to pick and whose calls to ignore. You've made me lie three times to daddy now. Lie to daddy how? Yes. He's been calling to know why you've not been picking his calls. And I lied to him that you were locked up in your room. The last time he called, he asked me to give you my phone, and again I lied that you never wanted to talk to him. But I never wanted to talk to him, so how was that a lie? How about your being in the room? I might have been. But you weren't. That's the point. Look, Jenny, that is a wrong customer to sell lies to. And you know it. Well, too bad. These lies have been sold, and he has no other option than to buy these lies. I'm not going to do this again. Not for any reason. Whatever, sir. Are you alright? Look, I want you to come downstairs with me. I have a great surprise for you. Come, come, let's go. I promise you, you will. I promise. 
myself, I will get you your own car. The moment you finish your NYSC. But that uh, unfortunate hospitalization delayed it. Not anymore. Yours. What use is a car to me when I can't even go out on my own? Ah. Surprise. I spoke to your doctor earlier on today. And he says to me that you are well enough to go out on your own. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. I'm jealous, Daddy. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Sandra, yours will be waiting for you the moment you finish your NYSE. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Oh, I love you too. Oh, you know. The mother and both of you are all I have. See, I was restricting you on doctor's orders. Thank you, Dad. Oh, and he says um, no male relationship for now. Yes, Dad. Good, 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 good. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go and take your car. Are um, you jealous? <laughs> I'm not. You, you can go. See me in my office later. Yes, sir. All right. Are you going back there? Mm. Check out my ride. This is my ride, Esther. Oh, <laughs> this is my car. Oh, my goodness. You know, I've, I've always wanted to own a car like this. Jenny, I really do envy you. Seriously. Let me tell you the trick. What? Get yourself a hot wig. Uh, I don't know why you want it. It works. <laughs> Trust me. This is my baby. Get it. Get it. And I'm sure he did not start the meter from the beginning. Oh, you these boys. What, what is this now? Eh? Please, madam, madam, please just go into your car. Mr. Man, go. Leave my car. Let the woman, let the woman pass now. <sighs> madam, madam, how much did you give him? 5,000 naira, and that's what his money is. Mr. Man, how much is she owing you? I don't know. My money is 7,000 naira. Eh, so what's your balance? 3,000 naira. This one is 5,000. No, madam, let's just, let's just give him a minute. This guy is a cheat! He's a liar and he should be locked up in jail! <laughs> You're embarrassing I yourself. I don't care! No, 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 no. Anyway, let's, let's do it. I mean, it's nothing to do. Come on, get out of here! You, 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 should le you should learn how to respect your customers. It's wrong! Madam, it's okay, okay, it's okay. Yep, yep, yep. In the dark, the secrets of the night. It's a skip the beat of the heart oh. It's the fear of losing the one you love Someone there who makes you happy Makes you smile, makes you laugh oh. Life is not a merry-go-round no. This and that is all twist and turn Circumstances, we go up, we go down 
madam, I hope there's no problem. I'm not madam. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you were at the filling station to buy fuel. Oh, yes I was, but I ran out of cash. <laughs> Oh, because of me. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. I'll actually just go home and sure? get, yeah, I'll just get, get some more money. You know, I just, <laughs> I left the house to buy fuel. Okay. I had just 5,000 marrying me. Oh. You know, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it's fine. Well, m my name is Uche. And, uh, sorry, I'm a journalist. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. My name is Jennifer, but oh. people call me Jenny. Okay, Jennifer. Yes. Um, do you have a card? I don't have one, I just finished your service. Oh, all right, excuse me, I'm coming. Let me just... Ah. You can just put your number here. Um, zero, okay. All right, oh, that's um, Jennifer. Just put Jenny. E, okay, Jenny, N-N-Y. All right, okay, Jenny. Jenny. Nice meeting you, and thank right. you very much again. No, it's all right, pleasure was all mine. Nice meeting you, thank Nice you. meeting you too. Stay up this late. Do journalists call at this hour? <laughs> of course. Our job is round the clock. So any time goes. Are you still at work? Sure. Except you don't want to read the breaking news by morning. Interesting. Yeah. Perhaps. But not as interesting as the prospect of seeing you again. Really? Sure. Does humor go with journalism, don't you? <laughs> All the way, baby. All the way. Does lunch tomorrow sound accommodating enough? <sighs> um, well, let's see how it goes. Let's see then. The night. Okay. <laughs> I thought you looked good, but I didn't quite observe you distinctly. And now that you have, you look devastatingly beautiful. is an essential ingredient of journalism. You just have to have it. I can see that because you have no
You know, it feels like I know you for a year now. And we just met. Yeah, it sure feels like that. I mean, you're an extremely pleasant person to be with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel extremely flattered. No, I'm serious. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, but I think I know what's on your mind, and I'm really sorry because all I can offer from you is just friendship. Hmm. I... Alright. Okay. You're a good friend. Yeah, if that's what you want. Thanks for lunch. Thanks for dropping me off. It's my pleasure. Okay. And who was that? Who? The guy that just dropped you off. Are you spying on me? It's not a matter of spying on you. It's a matter of making sure dad doesn't find out. It's not what you think, kid sister. Okay? Mm. We shall see. not exactly a compliment for a man who plans to rig the next governorship election in his favor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to say that again. See, no, no. I told you not to start. <laughs> hey, Mom. Um, Mom, this is my friend, Uche. He's a journalist. Uche, that's my mom. Good day, Mom. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thanks, Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you. Mom, this is my friend, Uche. I must say you have a very lovely home and beautiful daughters. And I see where they come from now. Thank you. Please sit. Thank you. Jennifer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So, Sandra, how are you doing? Uh, what exactly are you doing right now? Jennifer, what are you doing? What, Mom? It is not up to four months since you left hospital. I'm already beginning. And what, Mom? What? Jenny, you promised to stay away from all male relationships, didn't you? But I haven't done anything to suggest otherwise. So what in the world is he doing here? Uche, who else? <laughs> Mom, it's not what you think. Uche is just a friend. It is not what I think that matters. But I'm concerned about what your father thinks. <clears throat> and uh, what sort of conference is this? Nothing bad. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Nothing. When two women whisper, nothing badly comes out of it. Mm. Daddy, this is Uche. He's my friend. Uche, this is my dad. Your friend? Yes, dad. He's a journalist. A journalist, eh? Yes. Good day, sir. Mm. 
Jenny, why don't you make him feel comfortable? Did I do something wrong? No, I don't think so. Do you know how fathers are, like, with their daughters, especially their first daughters? So tell me, what would you like to drink? Drink? From the look of your father? Nothing will be most appropriate, thank you. Uche, come off it. I mean, I, I was trying to shake his hand and you gave him my hey, hand. Hey! You know how fathers are. They're like that. Especially mine. There's nothing to worry about. Really? I'm sure about it. So what would you drink? No, no, come on, Uche. You have to have something. Water. Are you sure? No. <laughs> You're crazy. Water is fine, thank you. <laughs> All right, see you. Well, young man, what tabloid do you represent? The pace setter's dad. He's the news editor. I see. And how long have you been with this outfit? For eight years, sir. I thought you might uh, have something to say about this. <laughs> dad, I haven't known you for that long. It's all right. I'll get it. You? Well, yes, my dear. Mm. Ah, please come in. Mm. Officers, Sir. this is the man. Young uh man, -huh. you're under arrest. What? Arrest? Yes. Arrest why? He calls himself a journalist. I don't give a damn. Daddy! And will you shut up? Chief, but how can well, you... Keep, keep, keep quiet, woman. Daddy, why... And go back to your room. Move now, move now. Officer, I want to know why I am under arrest. When we get to the station, you find out. Shall we move now? I thought you said you're a journalist. And what if I am? Then write it in your statement. Write it, see what thing happened. You don't know. You don't know what thing happened. Since you have been servicing a big man picking, you don't know say everything gets in price. <laughs> no matter. She don't know say she'll get size. Officers, I didn't do anything wrong. Whatever it is that man told you is a lie. I didn't barge into his house. I didn't break into his home. His daughter invited me. That's my statement. Then write it in your statement. Put it down. Look, Mr. Ma, you're wasting our time. Write this thing, Mr. Ma. Daddy, 
It's not what you think. So what is it? That a man gave you 2,000 common, 2,000 naira at the petrol station? And you get carried away? I'm a woman, Dad. Oh, that makes you a fool, does it? Chief, I sincerely think you should call the police to release that young man. He is a journalist, for God's sake. And this could cause dire consequences on the long run. So because he's a journalist, I should allow him to mutilate my daughter? Daddy! Uche and I are just friends. I told you that before. And I told you how it all started. Nothing brings a woman and a man together besides the ultimate sin. Whether it starts with the 2,000 naira at the petrol station or the beat each other, it certainly leads to that. So why don't you let it end up there before concluding and taking this drastic action? Oh, I have seen it lead to one end and I know what it cost me and I'm not waiting for another end. Look, by the time I finish with that thing that calls himself a journalist, he will take to his heels any time he cites you. You'll have to excuse me, ladies. I have a very heavy schedule today. I need a bit of uh, rest. These bones must be rested. Good afternoon. Yeah, I guess this is Chief Douglas's resident. Yes. Please, I want to see him. Who are you, ma? I'm Evelyn. E Evelyn Chu is my name. Are you Chase's mother? Yes. And it must be Jennifer. I'm so sorry. Please. Have any option? I wait for him to come. Thank you, mm. madam. I want you to know that I did not have anything to do directly with your son's detention. He told me. I also want you to know that he didn't do anything wrong. That's I know as well, because my son is not the lying type. I know him. Mm. Thank you for believing in him. Thank you, me. He's my son. 
I brought him up. I know what he can do. And I know he didn't do it. Ocha is an extraordinary gentleman. And he's being detained for being nice. And he told me you're a wonderful girl. I think I can say that. No, it's not true. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Evelyn Chukwu is my name. It's uh, my only son, which is detained at Ojo Police Station at your orders. for my son's innocence or anything like that. But I have come to plead with you that you should please free him for me. Whatsoever he has done, please free him. Please. Please, Chief. Chief, please. Hearken to the voice of a poor widow son has been detained for eight days. Chief, I beg you. Please. Upon condition. Let me tell. We do it. Your son will have to sign an undertaking never to lay his eyes on my daughter again or to try to communicate with her through any medium for the rest of his natural life. Yes, sir. He will do that, sir. Then go home. Meet me tomorrow at the police station by 12 noon. No, Chief. I beg you. We can't let this woman go back home today without her son. Sweetheart, I am a mother, and I understand what an only child means. My dear, I can't sit down here while a poor widow's life is being shortened by undue emotional torture. Chief, I beg you, please. Uche's mother loves him just as much as you love me. Yes, Dad. All right. We'll go. But before we do, Jenny, you will sign an undertaking that you will never see talk to this boy you will never try to communicate with him through any medium for the rest of your natural life is that clear not. I can't do that. I mean, if I should do that, then it means I'll be discouraging someone from trying to do good. But what really is the point here? I mean, would this be an ordeal if you guys hadn't exchanged numbers? If you didn't go out for lunch or, or if you hadn't gone to see her in her house later? Oh, come on, you know, one thing led to another and then led to something else. But, but, but Greg, you know me now. I wouldn't ordinarily go to a girl's house if I, if I had something to do with her. I mean, she'll naturally come visit in my own place. Uchi, the girl in question here is sorry. 
I mean, she feels so responsible for the ordeal you went through. She wants to see you. I mean, at least to No, no, mm -mm, Greg, please don't just even go there. Not on her life. I mean, I, I signed an undertaking. Can't work. Try and be rational about this. <laughs> Hi, Uchi. Uchi. Oh, my God. Hi, Uchi. Don't you think you've punished her long enough? She's here to say she is sorry. You know what? You two have the building to yourselves. We'll just excuse you, huh? gentleman in here if you're going to punish me for my father's sins. I shouldn't be seen around you, Jenny. I took an undertaking. So did I, Uche. My dad doesn't own this world. Besides, he doesn't have to know we met because I don't intend to tell him. Do you? I spent eight days in that stinking cell. Where were you? Uche, come on. You didn't actually expect me to go to the station where everybody from the DPO to the least person is under monthly gratification from my father. If I had done that, it would have delayed your release. Okay. Fair enough. So, what do you want from me now? I... I want to say I am sorry. So say it, that I may be on my way. Uche, you were kind to me. And I can never pay you back with detention. The beginning is not as important. It's the end that really matters. So, let your detention be the beginning of our friendship. in the car? I'm just taking precautions. You know, Jay and I can't be seen together and I don't want to take the chance of packing a car in front of the house. It might attract some necessary attention. Oh, I get it. Secret lovers, right? Secret friends, Esther. Friends, okay? <laughs> friends? Yes. That's what we are and that's what we'll be. Yeah, let's go. Secret friends? Yes. <laughs> don't give me that. How much you have such a I'm not denying anything, we're just friends. <laughs> for the car to be seen around with it. No. <laughs> Secret lovers, right? <laughs> Secret friends, Esther. How many times do I have to tell you that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, where's Greg? It's upstairs, doing something with his computer. Okay. Right, I'll be upstairs. I'll see you later. See you. Bye-bye. Okay. Please. I ask myself, 
would friendship make one's heart skip beats at the sight of the other person? Does friendship mean thinking about the person all through the night? Would one be considered to be in a friendship if one dreams ceaselessly of the other person? Is that a poem? A poem. We make the worst of all poems. Then what is it? Nothing. Just thinking aloud. Do you dream of me, Uche? I think the question should be, when don't I? You know, man, all through our years in the university, you were of great help to me. I mean, you were just completely flawless. Of course you know that's too way. Well. Right. What I'm trying to say is, despite the fact that you, you come from a rich background, you didn't find that as a barrier, you know? You were so down to earth. Flattery. Flattery? Yes, flattery. That's what it is. <laughs> you should not be better, man. I will never flatter anybody, let alone you. Mm. But the way you nurtured our friendship, the way you helped me out of school, you gave me money when I was broke, gave me handouts uh, when I needed. No, 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 just, just come off it. Come off it. If there's anything you want to say, just say it out. All right? Hit the nail on the head. See what I'm talking about? You know me too well. Of course I do. How many years now? Well, it's Chenny. I guess there's much. Boy, I am hooked. I guess that's much too. No, what I'm saying is, I am like falling deeply in love with this girl and I don't know what to do. Of course having a girl like Jenny now, tell me who wouldn't? With a father like hers, who would? Tell me. You love this girl, right? <laughs> do I truly? I'm running crazy over this girl, man. Like I'm... I'm losing it. Really? Then forget about the father and face the girl. Look, once you have the girl, her father's issue follows. Seems to have forgotten what happened to me the last time. Of course, then you two were mere friends. But being lovers is a different ball game. If both of you plan well, everything will work out perfectly. Hmm. So easy for you to say. Nothing is impossible. I tell you this, my dear friend. In Every battle, the constant rule is consistency. Mm. Look around the world today and share a cheerful, friendly smile. Show the world you really care. And then go the second mile. You love speaking in riddles, don't you? One of the quotings from the great man, William Ward. Mm. Well, another one says, your best friend is the one who brings out the best in you. Henry Ford. You read all the books, don't you? <laughs> I'm a journalist. It's part of our training. I can see that. Would you consider me a friend? I'll tell you this. Those that bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I get it. You read as well, don't you? I studied <laughs> history, so reading was part of my orientation. So tell me, who said this? To be or not to be? That is a question. Wait. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wait, wait. No. I, no. I can't no. remember. I know it. I just cannot remember. Even the three-year-old would know it. The man who has the name William, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare! I know! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you can't differentiate between fiction and reality. I don't know where you're getting at. I mean, it amazes me that a journalist like you cannot differentiate between love and affection. Okay. What exactly are you talking about? Your relationship with Jenny. What do you call it? Simple. Friendship? <laughs> oh, Uche, you are kidding yourself. But I tell you this. That girl may be your whole love. 
but kidding an innocent soul is an emotional sin. Greg, what exactly are you talking about? Why don't you just search your mind and go to the immoral department and tell me how many times you've imagined Jenny in your bed. <laughs> Greg, please, please, Greg. What are you talking about? Look, just come off it. You see, my problem with you is like, you like pretending. Yes! Look, the earlier both of you face reality, the better it is for your future. I'll be the monkey's uncle if that girl isn't dying to kiss the living daylights out of you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, devil's advocate. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> but I tell you, it wasn't the devil who introduced the greatest gift of all time to man. Sex. Trust me, it's from God. Yeah, for the sole purpose of procreation. But it didn't have to be that sweet and enjoyable only to procreate. Mm. Yes. I mean, have you thought of how many times the act of sex has been perpetrated before a woman can conceive and go through gestation? You know, I fail to see where exactly you are driving at. For God so loved the world, my friend. You see, that particular phrase is also being demonstrated by the act of sex, S-E-X. And God in his infinite mercies made it affordable to all. The employer, employee. You know what, sir? You should be opening a sex school. Well, what I should actually open is a reality TV. <laughs> Are you blind? Blind? How? Can't you see Uche loves you? <laughs> Esther, listen. Uche and I drew the line. Just friendship. Jenny, why punish your emotional being? How? Listen, are you trying to tell me that you don't know that you're just as much in love with Uche as he is with you? What are you talking about, Uche? I asked. What were you doing with him? Doing with who? Damn well know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. Then I will tell you. Yesterday evening, I was parked not too far from your house. I was hoping to catch a glimpse of you. And what do I see? Some man driving in your car. What? And worse still, you were there with him. In the car. Smiling. Looking happy. And what were you doing around my house at that time? That's not the point. The point is, what were you doing with him? I see your father couldn't get him arrested, huh? He doesn't need to. Because the guy you saw me with, his name is Tony, and he is my cousin. Hmm. I'm serious with you, I'm telling you the truth. I am not in any relationship. are better left unsaid. And now that I've said them? That shows your lack of tact. What the hell with tact is to drive me off the path to truth? Esther, you're missing the mark here. Which is? Why? 
I mean, why would a girl I love so much, with so much passion, be poised to ruining everything? Ruin everything? Yes! Oh, so because... Look, look, this is Africa. This is Africa. And it is perceived that it's only a prostitute or an irresponsible woman who would force a man to, 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 to propose. I can't believe it. Are you calling me responsible? You see, that's where the problem is. I can't call you that because I know you're responsible. is why? Why would my own girlfriend, who I know is a very responsible lady, suddenly turn rash? Why? I'm sorry. Really. I'm very sorry. Babe. Let's climb this rope step by step. Okay? I love you. I love you. Did this love affection sparkle because, because I was detained? No. Well, I guess it's because you helped me out that day. I see a lonely place where no birds hover around. It's a quiet place where no crickets rattle. I see a heavenly place where no mosquitoes breed. And where is this place? The real lover's creek. The real lover's creek? Yeah. It's a place across the sea. It's an island, really where you can be with nature, where you can look into the girl you've ever loved in your life, and whisper those sweet words, I love you. Have you ever tried poetry? I never indulge in whatever I am not good at. Well, you can never know till you try. <laughs> so tell me, what's this thing about the real lover's creek? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful place. Quiet place. You could go for a picnic. Oh. Yeah, maybe we could go there sometime this weekend, Saturday. This Saturday? Sure. We could go with Greg and Esther. What do you think? Really? Uh huh. Wow, that would be a bang. I'll be swell. I can't wait. <laughs> Go away, then. Thank you, sister. Whenever you call me that, you make me look as though you're 10 years older than I am. It's just 18 months, you know. Well, even if it's just uh, one minute or one second, the fact is I came into this world before. Mm. Now you, Sandy. Sandy? Sandy? Whenever you call me like that, you're on to mischief. Sandy? Wait, 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 wait. What is the assignment all about? Guess. Oh, you know I'm not good at that. Uche. Did you say Uche? Shh. Actually, I want to see him. Sandra, listen. I'm a woman. You're a woman too. And we both have our emotional needs. What are you talking about, Jennifer? Stop sounding like a baby. Come on. Listen. This is between you and I. Okay? 
-hmm. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure Uche doesn't get into detention again. And I want you to play your part. doesn't know the kind of father she has, does she? So my brother, man, you gotta be there. Well, what are we talking about? The picnic. Oh, the picnic, the picnic. Yeah, I forgot. Listen, I said I just found a soothing environment. A place where genuine lovers can be. Tell me about it. It's a place carved out by nature. A lover's garden. I call it the Lover's Creek. Lover's Creek. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, that sounds like one abode for real mischief. God, can you just knock that off your amorous mind? <laughs> Pervert! Ah, please just come off it and stop pretending. Stop pretending. Listen, what is love without that? Sweet oil, full of sweet oil. <laughs> hey. It must not be the perfect stuff. I mean, I learned from the best. You right. Where you up to? Guess. Guess as this they usually involve Uche. Am I right? You're learning very fast, aren't you? You're a good teacher. So, where are you off to? To the galleries, the cinema, the shopping mall. Guessing. Hi, Mom. Hmm. And where are you going dressed like that? I'm going to see Esther. It's her birthday today. Really? Mm -hmm. And actually, I have to rush. I'll see you later. Bye, sister. Bye. Sandra. Yes, mommy. Did she tell you exactly what she's up to? Mommy, mommy. What are you insinuating, mom? Sandra, I gave birth to the two of you, and I can smell mischief in this house. I just hope it is not what I'm thinking. Because if it is what I am thinking, <laughs> mm, your father will skin in my life. Mom? Baby, what took you so long, oh, huh? Jesus, yeah, I'm 
sorry. I'm so sorry. You look beautiful. <laughs> Guys, I must confess, she's truly a queen. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Hey, yes, sir. Um, go queen with my friend, uh, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, Jeff is my friend. Uh, he just uh, came in from. Oh, well, really? It's a high school time. Well, fuck. Yeah, knowing him, it will take an ammo tank to stop him from joining us at the, you know, office <laughs> screen. Mm -hmm. Greg, don't even try it. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go. Guys, guys, we gotta go, okay? Come on, let's go.
I'm getting tired. Come on, come on.
getting tired. Come on, guys.
Oh. Ah. What a beautiful place. Guys, how did you discover this place? The last school trip. I mean, I'm a journalist. Exploration is part of my orientation. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Guys, let's have fun, please. Come on. I can see we're going to have some boy after all. Yeah? Um, I thought I was the only Mongo Park around. And I thought I was Christopher Columbus, huh? Of this modern age. Um, right. Hi, everybody. Hi. I am... What's my name again? I am... I am Olu. Olu, nice Hi, guys. And, um, here is, um, Funke. The mother of my unborn children. Hi. And her pretty friend, Christy. Hello. Hi, Uh He's the father of her unborn children around somewhere. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, uh, Jeff says uh, marriages aren't made in heaven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do that again. Hello, I'm Jeff. And I'm Christy. Oh, Christy, you're welcome. Thank you. As it stands now, if you look around, we are the only odd people out. So how do you see it? But we just met. See, Christy, we just met. Well, see, it is, I see it as predestined. You see, when a young guy of my staff sees a beautiful lady in a lover's garden, what do you expect of me? All right, all right, all right. Look, Jen, I quite appreciate your attention, but... See, see, honestly, that word birth don't exist in a lover's garden. It doesn't exist. Just look around, look around. Look at the loo, who is catching fun. Look at Greg, look at Uche, they're all having fun. Let's not be the odd people out. Please. I know, but they are all lovers. We just met. Exactly, we just met. But you see, it takes meeting just once to become one soul and one body. To you, perhaps, or to me, nothing like Oh, that. haven't you heard the phrase that says, love at first sight, baby? <laughs> That's to you, Dad. But to me, there is nothing like that. You see, Christy, get this stuff. Come up this stuff of how to get, baby. Oh. Okay, look into my eyes. Okay. Just look into my eyes and tell me what do you see. Desperation. Desperation? Yeah, desperation. You see, desperation they say is the immediate elder brother to love. You see, Jeff, when it comes to women, it's our modern day overture. Oh, it's a slick woman. Trust me. You see that girl? She's gone. <laughs> Even at 30, I'm priding myself of much knowledge of your own self. I never considered you like love. Meaning? Meaning until I met you, I never truly knew the meaning of love. And what does it mean to you now? It means I'll go to the end of this world for you. I'll give anything for you. <laughs> anything to make you happy and very easily too, baby. That makes the two of us better. Yes. 
Take two more. The big one. Oh. Thank God there are lots of bushes here. So all we need to do is recall our village mine over there. Huh? All right. Do you have some tissue? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Close your eyes. Hey, hey, Uche, Uche, stop, stop. Where, where are you taking us to? Guys, something besides picnics happens here. Like what? Something very big. Very, very big. Bunkering. What? What? Yes. Ben, I saw them myself and I'm going to take pictures. Why? Because I'm a journalist. And if some people are still in our crowd, <laughs> it's my duty to report. Uh, well, you have to go back there. Because I need evidence. Pictures of those guys stealing our oil. If I put them here, it will make the picture of the year. 
Okay, I'll be the journalist of the year. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm coming. That's cool. That's great. That's cool. cool, man. Let's go. Great. Great. And your man What? What did she just say? Um. She said we shouldn't go. Yes. Let's go home. Hey, hey, hey! Help me out here, okay? <laughs> I want to win this award, okay? Please, let's go. I need it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. But there's nothing to it. I mean, they're friends. We, we don't know these people. We just met them here. They're we came friends. here on our own. I'm afraid. Let, let's go. I know, but okay, okay. What about Christy? Christy! Let's go. We need to climb up that tree so we can see them. Really? Yes. Are you sure they are still there? Shh, shh, shh. Listen, listen. The generator. Can you hear that? Huh? Let's go, let's go. Uchi, I'll let us see. Fine, fine. Come, come, come. Be careful. Don't climb. Don't worry, I'll be fine.
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! from the skillers. Uh, That's the only way. Mudaru. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, forget. Hold your peace, eh? Just hold your peace. We have to find our berry. Shuba. Ah, oh, oh no. Oh, so well. It's sweet. Oh. You said you were eight. Yes. How come we recovered only six bodies? One more body is lying dead in the bush. You said you killed two of your attackers? Yes. Where are the bodies? 
I don't know. Maybe their colleagues took them to cover up their act. You said you took photographs? Yes. As a journalist, why did you lose such vital evidence? That would have collaborated their story. After Chen Yu was shot, I was not interested in anything else. Nothing else mattered to me than to save her life. Well, they very much matter now. Did you hear what I said? I don't care! Are you aware we're talking about the daughter of a DG in the oil corporation? I don't bloody care! When your neck is around the hanged man's rope, you did very much care. Take him away. Well, seems, seems we don't have to look for him anymore. Talk about luck. Only him survived. Yeah. Bad about ego, adorable. Well, that's one of the hazards of the business. Every business has its low point, and the bunkering business is no exception. You can see that again. Yeah, we have to take it like that. It's a fact that we all miss Jennifer very much. But don't you think that journalist could be speaking the truth? What truth? That he loved her. I mean, the ring on her finger proved it. You are a woman. That is why you are so taken in by this cl clever gimmicks. But daddy, if he killed her, why did he have to come back to tell us? Exactly. <laughs> He's a journalist. He's just been smart. But he knows that wherever, wherever he hides, I will fish him out. My dear, I still think he loved her. I am a woman and I can tell when a man is genuinely in love with a woman. Susan, I want you to listen to me and listen good. If that boy had left my daughter alone, Jenny would be alive today. I don't care what anyone says. He is responsible for the death of my daughter and that is final. What if it was our daughter that did not stay away from him? Oh, he signed an undertaking. And so did Jennifer. Oh! Uchi and Jennifer were genuinely in love with each other. I know. Then you must convince Daddy to set him free. Sandra. Yes, Mommy. You don't know your father. He could be very difficult whenever he decides to. was murdered by another bunkering gang fighting for possession of a new location. Over now to Alfred and Benjamin for more details. I'm innocent. Move it. I'm innocent. Right, Move. Shut up. Will you shut I'm up? not a bunker. I am not a bunker. How do I get you? This is my life. They killed them. They killed them all. I'm not a bunker. I'm not. I'm innocent. I'm not a bunker. I am innocent. I'm not a Please. 
over my dead body. You, you're alive? You're alive? Richard, sit down. You mean you escaped that massacre? Mm -hmm. You're alive. How did you escape? How? I... I can see you now! Come on now! Come on! Come on now! Will you come up? No! Come up! Come up! Come up! up. Okay. Okay. Uncle Ruth! What are you doing here? Eh? What are you doing here? I... I... We, uh... There, okay? I'll come back for you. We have to kill every one of you. Ah, oh, just, oh, just go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in now. I'll come back for you, okay? Oh, I just... Hi there, I'll come back and pick you, okay? Oh, I did not mind. I... Oh, God. I was there when you went to carry Jeff. I remained there until my uncle came back for me. He spared my life, so I kept quiet all this while. When I saw you on TV last night being arraigned as a bunker and a murderer, I knew I could not let you suffer for other people's crime. I knew all the efforts you made to save Jeff and the others. You don't deserve to die. God bless you. Bless you too. You should thank your star. Young man. I should be thanking her more. Well, a word of advice for you, Richard. Whenever you have a neck around the gullet time, save it first. Love is for fools in these modern times. Then I take it, sir. You do not know the true meaning of love. Well, that's not the point now. The point is. I want the ass of that uncle of yours. And for you, Uche, I'm sorry you have to remain with us for security reasons until we nail the culprit. Sergeant! with your family over the death of your daughter. Jennifer was indeed a wonderful girl. Sir, I truly loved your daughter. I don't think I could ever get over her loss. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, sir. Please accept my sympathy. You see, 
you kids of nowadays, when we, your parents, try to advise you, you should heed it. The first time I set my eyes on you, I had this premonition that evil was going to befall my daughter through you. I tried to prevent it, but you, you, you went behind my back. God! I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. This is one death I, I thought I had prevented. Get out of me! into my house like that. I have to come in person. Bruno! Boss. What are you doing here? Boss, the game is off. I disobeyed your orders. I let my niece escape and now she has fingered me out, boss. You spared your niece and killed my daughter? Let me get you! Let me get them! I never knew she was your daughter. You mean you ordered the execution of your own daughter? How? Oh, Chief, you, you killed Jenny? How on earth was I to know that she would be there of all places? When this, this thing here informed me that some people were taking photographs. How? Can you help my God? You are a bunker. God, what is going on here? I am a businessman. You killed Jerry! You killed Jerry! You fuck! You killed Jerry! You murderer! You murderer! You killed Jerry! Murderer! You! Chief Daniel Wu, you are under arrest. I'm sorry, you have to come with us. Daddy! Daddy, why? Daddy, you have finished me. Let's go. So it's been you all this while, Daniel. Daddy, 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 you have finished. I have finished. I have finished. I have finished. Mommy, I have finished. Mommy, I have finished. What is all this? What? Daddy, oh, Daddy, you have finished. Daddy, God, oh my God, they finished. Thank you. So it has been here all this while. I will always love you with all my life. An angel you are, and an angel you will always be. Amen. You think you remember? You actually remember? I'm grateful. I came an hour ago, and I've been waiting. How are you sure I was going to come? Remarkable people fall in love once, and you're very remarkable. Thanks. Thank you. Someone there 